we are going to have a look at an interesting pen, which I think is interesting. Uh, the pen was lent to me by Joost from Appelboom Pennen. This is the white box, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye! Um, it's an interesting pen. It is the Mont Blanc UNICEF. Writing opens up the world. Pass on this precious gift. Well, if it's a gift, Mont Blanc, when am I getting mine? Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so, sorry, I'm just unpacking the pen. There's a lot of boxes, uh, boxing with material, boxing, boxes, boxes with Mont Blanc. Sorry. Service guide, a lot of, lot of material in there, but it is, um, uh, it's, it's uh, always in several languages with Mont Blanc, which is great. Filling instructions, all that stuff. The actual box, uh, I took out the pen, but nice box. Uh, and then below that, you can take out this, this pen bed. Uh, there is the, uh, uh, again, writing opens up the world, pass on this precious gift. Sorry, just me closing the box. Uh, UNICEF, uh, with a nice, nice illustrated booklet and all that. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice complete package. What about the pen? Here we go. All right. It is the uh, Mont Blanc Meisterstück for UNICEF Blue Solitaire, uh, and it's Le Grand. So it's uh, it 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 always looks a little bigger because the solitaires are metal. I'm not sure if if I am now offending all sorts of hardcore Mont Blanc collectors, but as far as I understand it, the solitaires are metal. Every solitaire I've ever used was metal, but I could be wrong. In any case, it should be 146 size, but it always feels a little thicker to me, and that may be just because it's metal clad. I, I, uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. But first, Joost, thank you for lending me this pen. It's a precious pen, so I appreciate it. And I'm sure that a lot of people find it interesting because I actually got a couple of requests to review this particular pen. All right, Le Mont Blanc, yeah? Solitaire. At the top of the pen, the uh, uh, don't call it the snowflake because you'll be butchered. Uh, this is of course the uh, the summit of the Mont Blanc, the mountain. And then we have you see all these interesting uh, characters on there in in various uh, languages. Uh, on top there you have some more characters, and then you have a blue uh, sapphire, and that sapphire. Uh, that is uh, actually, I, I wrote it down because I kept forgetting, 1.9 millimeters, all right? 1.9 millimeter blue sapphire. The highlights here, the details that you see, that is uh, platinum plated. Uh, and then we have this interesting blue that also extends to the barrel. So it's all, all those characters. And uh, then we have a center band here. And the center band uh, says Mont Blanc Meisterstück. And that's it. And you have the piston turning knob at the end right there, metal, very reflective and shiny. It's a fine nib as you can see, sticker and all. The pen uncaps by unscrewing and it's a it's a pretty smooth action. I found that with, with uh, Mont Blanc, uh, they, they have, especially the, the, the metal ones, I should add, they have very pleasant uh, unscrewing action, um, which, which I, I enjoy. I'm just checking it out. Yeah, those are really nice, smooth, smooth um, threads. Section very simple. It's cylinder shaped. Flares out a little bit, and then we have the uh, the the nib. Uh, it's an 18 karat nib. And as I said, it's a fine. It has all the standard things on it. 48, 10 for the height of the Mont Blanc. It says AU 750 because 18 karat. It says Mont Blanc. It has a, you know, it's it's a standard Mont Blanc nib. Uh, those are nice nibs though, and it's a, a fine nib that, that wrote well. No ink window, uh, that, that I, I have a feeling I mention that every single time I, I use a Metal Mont Blanc, but it's no ink window, it's a piston filled pen, you have no idea of telling how much ink is in there. Okay, what do I like about it, what do I not like about it? Well, it has some interesting stuff going for it. I mean, I, I, I have to admit, the look with the characters does not particularly appeal to me, but that's a personal thing. I mean, there, there are undoubtedly are people who find this kind of stuff fascinating, and I can understand if you have an interest in linguistics, for example, that you would find this very cool. I also know, uh, I know someone who's um, 
who loves typography it was a, a math tutor I had actually but he he loved characters like letters and he would design new fonts and he would he, he had a wall in his house where he put really big letters. I mean, he, those kinds of people, I think, would find this fantastic because it's, it's all kinds of different languages. And I mean, it's, it's neat. It's neat. It's, it's well done. Part of the proceeds of this pen go to UNICEF, uh, which is also nice that, that Mont Blanc makes that donation. Uh, so I think that's, that's kind of neat. I found the pen to feel very solid. It's, it's a metal piece. It, it, it's, it's pretty heavy. It's solid. It posts if you really want to, then it becomes really heavy, but you can post it if you want to. And of course, the most important part is it writes. It, it wrote very pleasantly. It's a, it's a nice fine nib that writes very smoothly. So I have to say, I, I really enjoyed uh, this, uh, uh, just the, the, the overall pen. It's, it's nice. It's a nice design. Even if I don't care for the specific finish, I, I like I like the, the amount of detail that, uh, that went into this. So that's very neat. Okay, things I don't like about it so much. Well, there's a couple of things. And it's, it's one of the special Mont Blanc pens. I understand part of the proceeds go to UNICEF. It's 1510 euros, so 1510 euros. Uh, that's uh, that's kind of up there, uh, which means that this is not necessarily a pen that I, I think a lot of us would, would buy with just the pocket change. It has the blue sapphire, it has the platinum details, it has all that, but you know what, what pen prices are like. I, I, I don't think this pen is worth it penny by penny as to the material. So there is that. And there is the lack of an ink window, which I simply don't like. As I said, you have no idea how much ink is left, uh, which I, I, I just don't really get that. Um, but that must be a, a very conscious design effort because I do that every time I make a metal pen. Piston turning knob was super smooth. That's uh, that, that may sound weird, but it was very pleasant to use. Really smooth, so well, I'm, I'm assuming well greased, but very, very pleasant to use. And as I said, the nib was, was very nice. Now, one thing that I also didn't like that much, um, and that's a purely aesthetic manner or, or, or a, a aesthetic issue, but is that you have this, this, sorry about the noise, I'll do it like this. This top row of characters, you see, and then you cap it, and that's half cut off. Why? I mean, if, if you're going to do this with these neat rows of, of characters, why not make the pen cap like this so that at least you can see the characters? This, to me, it, it, it doesn't really make sense. Um, and maybe that's just me, I don't know, but it, 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 it looks kind of weird to me. I think that kind of... Don't you agree? Don't you think this would look a lot better if it was like this? Anyway, maybe just me. That's the pen. We need to see how it writes. That's what's coming up next. High resolution pictures as well as measurements of the pen will be on the website sbrabrown.com. Another kind thank you to Yoast for lending me the pen. I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful so far and I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with The Mont Blanc Meisterstück, blah blah blah, is solitaire, blah blah blah. I'm just going to say UNICEF to make my life a little easier. Uh, the nib is a fine 18 karat gold and the ink is very simply Mont Blanc Royal Blue. Okay, so I'm just going to write down Mont Blanc Blue. Paper is Rhodia. It's a fine nib. Writes pleasantly. People are going to say, oh, it sounds very scratchy. Please remember. The camera microphone picks up this kind of noise very well. Uh, but writing on this paper is very pleasant. It's smooth, there is a touch of, of what I think is pleasant feedback, uh, but it's it's not at all scratchy. But fast writing. Works well, no real skips, so I enjoy that. Uh, the Mont Blanc Royal Blue I, is not the the wettest uh, ink ever made, um, but you can see it's it's a, a nicely tuned nib. 
line variation there is some to be had and the feed keeps up very well with that so you can add a little bit of character to your handwriting but it's it's not an extremely uh, flexing nib I would say reverse writing is quite scratchy also you already have a fine nib on this so I, I don't think this is uh, it's really necessary to do that and that's all that's to it so a very kind thank you to Yoast thank you for lending me the pen guys I hope this was useful and uh, I'll gladly see you later Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.